I'm a Walt Lowe from University of Texas in uh, Houston, Texas, and this case presentation is about the use of the Flip Cutter 3. Patient history, very typical for a failed ACL, so this is a revision ACL. Her symptoms were both instability and a mechanical locking symptom uh, coming from flexion into extension. Exam, again, a very typical exam. I important to note that all signs of instability related to the ACL, and on our imaging, she had a slope of 12 degrees. Typical imaging in a revision setting for me is plain x-rays and long leg standing films uh, where you can calculate an accurate slope. This video shows preparation of the femoral tunnel. You can see bone grafting of the old very vertical uh, tunnel up above it using an awl to establish uh, the location for where I would like to place this uh, fem new femoral tunnel, not close to the old one, obviously. The more rigid Flip Cutter 3 makes it easy to just raise your hand a little bit and then come into uh, the spot you want to establish your femoral tunnel. This was a 10 millimeter femoral tunnel and you can tell as we deploy it, the clicks, you can just deploy it to the size you want anywhere from 6 millimeters to 12 by half sizes at every step. Technique I like to use is to establish a small footprint right there saying I like what I see and then drilling the entire tunnel up to the depths that have been previously calculated. And then click back down to the 3.5 and you can pull it out easily, follow it with the fiber stick for uh, passing your graft into your tunnel. In reviewing uh, the Flip Cutter 3, it has really changed the ability to have a device there that you can address any tunnel you need to drill, whether it be tibia, whether it for an ACL, tibia for PCL, femoral for e either one of those two also, and for root repair, medial and lateral, only opening up one device uh, per case. And that device can be waiting on you even while preparation is happening for soft tissue grafts, those things. You know, the new length uh, allows re reaching those tunnels and the variability allows uh, decision making and even changing tunnels as you go. The final utilization can be in revision settings where you are using old tunnels, you can sequentially prepare those tunnels by gradually increasing the size of the flip cutter till you get to a good bleeding healthy uh, tunnel for graft re reimplantation.